Drones and handheld scanners are cheaper, faster and everywhere now. That's the good news. The bad news is most people have no idea how to combine the data properly. Folks fly drone and after scan with a handheld scanner and then the point clouds don't line up. They don't match. And what look like an easy workflow suddenly becomes a problem. This is where most people get stuck because collecting data is easy now, but connecting data is where things usually fall apart. So in this video, I'm going to show you three practical ways to combine drone photogrammetry point clouds with handheld scanner point clouds the right way and here's the interesting part the last two workflows work even if you are using a non-enterprise drone will start simple and move step by step towards more professional workflows so you will understand not just what to do but why you are doing it let's start with the most basic case if you are using an rtk drone and an rtk slam scanner the data should line up as long as you are using the same coordinate system and the same conversions in that situation you can import both point clouds into cloud compare and most of the time they overlap quite well and yes sometimes this works perfectly but this is where most people get a false sense of confidence drone high can drift because of parametric errors and if either device briefly loses rtk drops to float or loses mobile connection during the survey you introduce positional drift without even realizing on real size these small issues happen more often than people like to admit so while this method can work it only works when everything behaves perfectly and in the real world that's not something you should rely on which brings us to the workflow that actually is the most used on professional survey projects this is the method i use all the time ground control points not because it's complicated not because it's slow but because it works you place clearly identified targets that both the drone and the handheld scanner can see that could be high contrast targets magnetic targets on steel cladding or stable features that appear clearly in both data sets you then survey those points with the gnss receiver or a total station and this part matters you use the exact same control points when processing both the drone photogrammetry and the slam scan when you do that both data sets are tied with the same ground truth this removes gnss drifts fixes vertical inconsistencies and it forces completely different sensors to align to the same reference frame that's why this method works even if your drone doesn't have rtk and even if your slam scanner doesn't have rtk either once everything is processed you import both point clouds into cloud compare and they slimply line up no no pushing clouds around, no guessing, no hopping is good enough. This is the difference between capturing data and actually surveying. Now, not every project needs this level of accuracy. Sometimes you don't need georeferencing or formal control. You just want to combine model for visualization, measurements, and design work. And maybe you don't have RTK, ground control points, or a GNSS receiver available. This is where manual registration come in. You import both point clouds into cloud compare and use the registration tool to align one cloud to another you select the point cloud that you want to align after you will choose minimum three features that appear in both point clouds in my case let's take this manhole cover a building edge and this door frame the more spread out those reference features are the better the results will be you will always get an alignment error and that's normal this method becomes more accurate the more reference features you use but it's important to be honest about what it is this is a visual alignment not something that i would use on my everyday survey jobs it's fast it's useful and it has its place the mistake is using it on projects where accuracy actually matters so let's bring this together if you have an rtk on every device this first method can work but it comes with risk and that people often ignore if accuracy matters ground control points are the standard and they work even with basic drones and scanners and if you just need alignment without georeferencing manual registration can do the job as long as you understand this limitation most problems don't come from bad equipment they come from forcing the wrong workflow onto the wrong project and if you're wondering how people are creating usable point clouds with something like a dji mini i break that part step by step in the next video